Alright, so for this video, I hopefully don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to leave a short little message as it's um, it's 8.30pm uh, on a Thursday. Um, you know, first week back into school and I, I don't know if you can see in my face, but I've gotten somewhere around two to three maybe four hours of sleep and I am at my low in terms of energy just energy where I've never felt so genuinely ready to go to bed now and yet you know I'm trying to work for at least two more hours you know work on my um, currently I'm working on my copywriting and you know, so so I just want to leave a short little message about you know, kind of basically what I said in the previous videos, which was about honoring your work and, you know, getting work done. No matter what, you know, no matter, even though a couple um, videos back, two videos back, um, you know, I said what I, I, I titled my video, what an ideal day looked like. And, you know, that day was ideal. I got a lot of things done and that was a high for me. Um, you know, since the past seven months, but, you know, sometimes, you know, I, it comes back down to plateaus or lows where it's times like this, where I'm tired. I haven't done as much work as I could have. Um, I've fallen asleep a couple of times during meditation just cause I, I, was, I was a little tired, blanked out. Um, and just imagining someone, a 17 year old, take a random 17 year old kid, um, my age and put them in my life and put them through everything I've done today. I've woken up at 1am for Kieran's call. Um, actually no, actually no, I actually watched the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, um, for two hours all the way until Kieran's call uh, at 1.30 a.m. And then after that, I had a community call um, as a Thursday thing with uh, DL. So a DL community call where we talked about the takeaways from the pursuit of happiness. And then after that, I made the decision, like I had Ryan's call, which, which is kind of like a um, accountability and mindset call. And I just said, I think I'm going to skip it for now just because I'm so low on sleep that, you know, I just don't like to cross that line of like pulling an all nighter. So take a 17 year old, 18 year old, maybe even a 20 year old and put them through what I do. And the point I'm trying to make is like, if someone were to go through just one day of this right now, they would be questioning why the fuck are they doing this? Why am I doing this? Why do I have to go through this? You know, what is the point of all this? And truthfully, like when you are at your low, you're at your most vulnerable, your mind will, will genuinely try to instill doubt in you. It'll try to make you quit. It'll try to make you say, oh, I'm just going to take a nap. Oh, I'm just going to sleep. Oh, I'm just going to write this day off. And so the point I'm trying to make about how my day has gone so far and what I'm going through is that most people would not be able to bear this on a regular basis. I do this on a daily basis every single weekday from Tuesday to Saturday. My routine is somewhat like this. And no doubt it's not peaceful, but the reason why I'm able to push through all of this stuff again is yet again as cliche as cliche as it sounds it's because i know why it happens i have my reasons you know i have my personal reasons i define that i define my selfless reasons why i'm doing this for other people and this all comes together to form a why a north star and honestly for most people they don't have that defined in their life and so when they go through stress and hardship they don't know why they're feeling it. 
But when I go through what I go through, I know why I feel this way. And hence why you can see, you know, maybe just take it right now. I'm not very stressed whatsoever and I'm calm. And in fact, I actually, truthfully, I, I enjoy the work that I do. But do you understand for most teenagers, they don't have their shit defined. They don't have their why defined. They don't understand why they're actually doing the things they're doing and thought about it and hence why sometimes they feel stress and it's just stress and it's something to run away from. When for me, stress is something when it comes, I realize it's, it's part of the process. So if there's one thing I want to give you guys from this is that firstly, one, I personally believe stress is for the most part and burnout for the most part is bullshit because if I were to stress you right now and you didn't know why and you know you you were given all these things all these meaningless tasks to do and you can't correlate it for for what what purpose or meaning you actually you know or what objective you're working towards you're gonna get stressed you're gonna tune out and that's a natural mechanism that's a natural mechanism of the brain so if anything stress for the most part i personally believe is a placebo and most of it is self-inflicted and the only way to clear up that stress is to clarify why you feel that way what, why is the stress coming through and then again as i said from previous videos find your fucking why define it because when you're in lows like this when you're in lows where you're getting no sleep and you have so much work to do every single day, you're gonna feel like quitting. You're gonna feel stress. You're gonna feel doubt. And if you don't have those things to find them, those are going to eventually get to you. And at some point you'll quit. That's when you get to that breaking point where you quit or you get to you know, a valley of despair where you feel helpless, you feel like you don't know where to go. But when you exactly again, as I'm going to say this again, when you can define your why, when you can define why the hell you are going through everything you are going through in your life, and you embrace the process, and you understand where your stress is coming from, you've effectively won 75 plus percent of the battle. Because listen, I'm not and, and seriously, take it from me, I'm not no, I'm not someone who, who just absorbs stress naturally. And, you know, that's been like that my entire life. No, I used to be that kind of guy where, where if I felt any level of stress, I would run away from it. I would just try to avoid it, I procrastinate it, and it still affects me to this day. But the difference is, is I've chosen a different trajectory, you know, a career, which is business, and I thoughtfully define and make very clear you know of what i'm gonna face you know <laughs> during this journey that i'm in and 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 the reasons why i'm doing this not only for myself but for other people yeah and so when i have those defined when it gets hard i don't have to ask those questions of like why am i doing this you know, why am I going through this? Because I know why. I know my why. I know my North Star. I know my reasons. And so that's what I implore you to do is to, you know, just reflect and sit down with yourself and genuinely ask yourself, why do you want this? Why do you do all this stuff? Because if you don't have it defined, then when you're in those lows, that's when you're most vulnerable. And that's when doubt and the feeling of quitting creeps up the closest to you. And so if you want to be able to deflect that off and you want to be able to defend yourself against that you know, and not fight against your own mind, clarify why you're with that, why you're with, with what you're doing now. Another point I've been making throughout this thing is that truthfully, your emotions will come and go. And I'll be honest, most of, most of the times in business, emotion is a genuine enemy because it can go this way, it can go that way. You don't know, and it's just something that is a part of you. So instead, 
I would rather employ you to have logic because when you can have logic in place and when you can have logical foundations and reasons to why you are doing all this stuff, then that is when no matter where the wind goes, no matter what you feel, you understand logically, hey, that's not true. Hey, I'm doing this for a reason. I'm doing this for money. I'm doing this for financial independence. I'm not doing this for nothing. I'm doing this for, you know, the people around me. I'm doing this to eventually have my own place, have my own peace, um, etc., etc. So whatever it is, I, I encourage you to find it. Yeah, I'm just really tired today and I felt this would be a good message to you guys. So, um, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to go get back on my work, work on my copywriting NSO. And, uh, yeah, at 10.20, go to bed and uh, you know, hopefully wake up for uh, Scott's call. Got Scott's call at 2 a.m., 2.30. And, um, yeah, uh, sorry guys, I'm literally just having a crash right now. Um, I, well, my eyes feel so good, I just want to fucking lay my head down on that, on my pillow, on my bed right now. But I know that I still have 35 minutes. It's, you know, 8.45, I still have 35 minutes, uh, one hour and 35 minutes until I go to bed. So... So there's no reason for me to go to bed. So, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope this was maybe a help to you um, to understand that highs and lows are normal. And as I have productive days, I also have low days, and I have you know some days where it's a little bit harder, and you know there's a few more difficulties and challenges in life. That's completely fine because that's it's part of the journey. So. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and uh, yeah, take care and I will see you in the next video.